Hey guys, Phil here at Wood Street Farm. Today I'm going to show you what I think is the best fire starter on the market. So stick around, let's have a little fun. Here we go. Today it's all about cleaning up. I've got this burn pile here behind me. You can see just past the burn pile. That's where I took down a bunch of trees in a previous video, and I've been working on cleaning that up. Um, today, I don't have my tractor with me. It's actually in the shop getting some upgrades. More details about that in an upcoming video. I'm gonna keep adding to this burn pile. I'm gonna be bringing the truck back and forth, uh, filling up the trailer. I got it just here next to me off camera. Uh, with branches and whatnot from uh, that area over there. I'm gonna be adding to the burn pile, but we've gotten rain for each of the last several days. Everything out here is really soft, really wet. Today is nice and bright and dry, and there's not too much wind, which we don't get uh, too many days like this in the wintertime here in Central Virginia. It's reasonably calm, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this burn pile going. There's also a burn ban in Virginia from February uh, 15th to April 15th. So I'm gonna try to get this as much burning done as I can because after February 15th, I can't do any open burns until after 4 p.m., which doesn't really work well with my schedule. So uh, I'm gonna get as much done as I can. Usually when I try to do burn piles like this, it's really a challenge for me to get it going. I don't know why. I know some of you guys out there, you'll use like hay bales and diesel fuel and other stuff to get it going but uh, I decided I'm gonna try something different I'm gonna use one of these this is a propane torch usually they sell these for like um, weed control this propane torch hooks up to any size propane cylinder I've got it hooked up to a regular 40 pound cylinder or is that a 20 pound cylinder whatever your normal grill size uh, propane cylinder I've got it hooked up to I'm gonna fire this up and see if I can't use that to get the fire started. Here we go. All right, well the instructions say, I open the grill tank and I open this valve an eighth of a turn. Then I have to squeeze this. Yep, gas is flowing. And then I'm gonna use this. Well, that's working pretty good. Right now, it looks like it's mostly just pine needles and uh, the small twigs that are burning. So I'm gonna see if I can get some more fuel, dry fuel on this and see if we can really get a hot fire going to burn all that green wood that's in there. All right, with the burn pile going, I'm gonna head on over, get in the truck here and pile up the trailer with some branches, bring them back over to the, to the burn pile. So I know in a previous video, some of you guys were saying, yeah, if you had a grapple, that would make uh, this a lot easier. Yeah, if I had a grapple on the tractor, that would make this a lot easier. But I don't have one. So, doing what I can do, and uh, I'm in no big hurry to get this cleaned up anyway. So.
All right, well the fire just about went out at this point. All the uh, needles and small twigs and whatnot have burned off and everything's just too wet, too green to really get going. So I'm gonna pile all this on, on this side, light it up, and I'll just keep that going. I'll just, while I'm out here today, just burn what I can. Well, a couple hours have gone by. I've added four or five trailer loads to the burn pile, and then I went and did something else for a few minutes, and then I came back, and pretty much everything's out. There's a few things smoldering. So I went and gathered up another small trailer load. This has more uh, dry sticks in it. So this will be the last little bit that I'll burn today. I tell you what, this thing is great. How I lived this long without one of these to start fires, I don't know. Uh, especially for this kind of stuff where it's wet and it's green there's no amount of like normal fire starter or newspaper or anything like that that would get this going so this really does the trick this is a pretty inexpensive thing if you don't have one of these definitely consider it and then of course along your driveway or sidewalks or uh, around anywhere around your house really if you want to burn up the weeds to keep them off your pavement and whatnot this is this kind of thing will definitely do the trick so Happy to have this now in my uh, in my tool set. I'm gonna go ahead and light this one more time and then call it a day. Well, making some progress with this cleanup work here, so still got a lot more can we see over there through the smoke still got a lot more over there to clean up still but slow and steady wins the race right well this video today was just to share with you that torch that I got that propane torch that thing is awesome I look forward to using that here on the farm some more might even come out if the weather cooperates and burn some more tomorrow so we'll see how that goes and looking forward to really cleaning up over here I'm gonna show you more of that in an upcoming video because that area just inside the woods over there I want to clean everything up and make that somewhat of a uh, primitive campsite so that we can come out here and hang out or some other groups youth groups scout groups and things like that could come out here and hang out on the property so more of that to come in the future got a lot of other projects and uh, that's it for today thanks for watching appreciate you if you got any questions or comments about what we're doing here leave those below and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button as well i uh, appreciate all of those subscribes and uh, that's it let's wrap it up see you on the next one bye bye